During the Third Crusade, Muslim leader Saladin captured Jerusalem and emerged victorious. So why did his European enemies come to love him? Part of it was the image of himself Saladin fostered. He showed mercy toward high-ranking captives, gave women and children safe conduct, and once during a siege, even declared he would not bombard a tower where a couple was spending their wedding night. His diplomacy, too, often involved giving the Crusaders extravagant gifts or large donations to the poor. And it made an impression. Ten years after Saladin's death, a German poet was already scolding his lord for not being as charitable as the enemy. Think of generous Saladin, he wrote. He said a king's hands should have holes in them. This image played into developing ideas of chivalry, granting Saladin a second life in European legends, histories, and court literature. Heck, even in 1898, on a state visit to the Ottoman Empire, Kaiser Wilhelm II requested to visit Saladin's tomb and lay a bronze wreath on it. To learn more about this beloved legend, click the link in the description.